everybody, welcome to another special mention to Emily here from my house. I'm really looking forward to finding out what you've been up to this week and what good work you're celebrating. So let's get started. Let's light the candle. Let's light the candle. And say good afternoon to everybody. So you ready? Good afternoon everybody. And then come right and hand da. Pow. And then let it nicely so that we show we're doing good lifting. And let's get ready to hear what everybody's been doing this week. So the first thing we need to say well done to is Deb. And we say, need to say a really big well done to Deb because she's moved house this week, which when you're little can be a bit scary moving to a new house. But he's done really well this week and coped really well with that very big change. So we want to say to you, well done Deb and good luck in your new home. We hope you're very happy there. Now, Helen's had a few children in school to Deb this week and she wants to say a really well done to these people who have done excellent thinking and given really good answers to questions. So let's see who she wants to say well done to. Let's see if your name's on the list. She wants to say well done to Jessica, to Bella, to Chloe, to Dylan and to Harvey. Let's give all those children a really big well done for all their hard work this week. Now we also want to say a big well done to somebody who's doing some fabulous reading, not just in school, but at home. Have a look at this. There's Chloe reading her favourite emotions books from school at home. She's having a lovely time reading about being angry, but don't worry because on the sofa next to her there, she's got the happy book as well. So lovely to see you doing good reading at home, Chloe. Well done. We've got to celebrate somebody that's decided to start using the toilet. We want to say a really big well done to Joshua. Well done to you. Can't wait to see you in school in big boy pants next week, Joshua. Well done. Somebody came to school this week and was an absolute shining star, and that was Heidi. Heidi decided that she was going to try all activities that were on offer in the classroom and had a really lovely day. So we want to say well done to you, Heidi. You are a shining star. Well done. So if we sat nicely, we've got our knees ready, we've got our hands ready for our drum roll. Let's see what else we're celebrating. So boy of the week this week is dum 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 Joseph. But Joseph for the last few months hasn't been going out for walks because he's been finding it too scary. He's a bit afraid of dogs and he's been seeing lots of dogs out on their walks. So he's not been out very much at all. But in the last couple of weeks, he's been out on lots of walks with his mum. So we want to say a really big well done to you, Joe. Well done. And the dogs here are saying, don't be too frightened of her. We're very gentle baby. Girl of the week. Ready? Who is girl of the week this week? Girl of the week this week is... Dum, 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 dum. Georgina. So Georgina came back to school for one day this week and we heard her using her voice all through the day. And not only has she learnt to be a real chatterbox, she's got really good manners and she's really polite. We heard lots of pleases and lots of thank yous. So we want to say a massive well done to you, Georgina, for using that big voice. But not only was just pleased to hear her talking, Georgina can now write some of the letters in her name. So well done, Georgina. Amazing. We're very pleased with you. This 
the big one. And you're ready. You've got a big class of the week this week. Mm. Class of the week this week is... Dum, 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 dum. Dos Bas Popo. Welcome to you. Let me show you why. So we've got Jess and Bella, who came back to school this week with big smiles on their faces. We've got Mika, who's been out riding on her bike. We've got Ben, who in his classwork, they've been reading Aliens in Underpants, I think, has made a plasticine alien and he's painted a plastic, uh, he's painted a picture of an alien, which is just fabulous. We've also got Abby, who's done some beautiful work. I think she's used plasticine or Play-Doh there to make some aliens. They look really scary, Abby. We've also got, oh, sorry, Yui Oto, I too fast there. We've got Yui Oto, who has made his own alien. He's decorated some underpants. And he's drawn some underpants there. Haven't you done good work there, Yuriota? And we've got Mika again, who has left. She's been working really hard and she's got some beautiful colouring skills going on there. And she's made a collage of an alien. So we want to say a huge well done to each and every one of you in Zospa Popo. Well done to you all. And Chris also wanted me to say a really special well done to all you parents that have been helping make these activities work for her. So well done and thank you all. So it's on to our happy birthdays. Who is celebrating this week? Well, we've got Rahila, who's having a happy birthday on Sunday. And then we've got our Lily, who's going to enjoy celebrating her birthday on Wednesday. And then Dylan is turning the big 11 next week, next Thursday, just like his, his friend Sean did last week. So let's say a big happy birthday to all of you. Enjoy your celebrations. Now this week, our teachers have been doing lots of writing and Laura in the office was writing the names and addresses of all you children on lots of envelopes and sticking lots of stamps on those envelopes and then we put them in the post yesterday and inside those envelopes are your reports. So your mums and dads and everybody that looks after you will be able to read about what wonderful things you were doing in school before school closed. So I hope that you all have a lovely weekend reading all those good news stories that are in those reports. So that's the end of Special Mention Assembly. We've just got our prayer left. So are you ready to put your hands together? And we'll ask Tash to help us. Thank, Thank you, God, for Riverbank School. Thank you for the things we do. Sometimes we like them, sometimes we don't. Please help us when we need it most. We need your love. Keep us safe and love each other day by day. Amen. Thank you, Tash. So assembly is finished. Let's blow out the candle. And say goodbye. And see you next week.